Good morning and thank you so much for joining us for the special online commemorative service for Anzac Day. These truly are unsettling times and it demands from all of us courage, perseverance and sacrifice. As Australians, we can find no better example than the men and women who served our nation, lest we forget. Welcome to the 2020 Rabina Anzac Day Commemoration. My name is Reverend Stuart Perry from the Anglican Church at Rabina, and it's my privilege to lead you through today's service. In times of fear and uncertainty, it is especially important to hold close to us those things that have made a difference to us and continue to shape our character as a nation. In times like this, it is even more important to hold close, recapture or rediscover for the first time the importance and relevance of Anzac Day. This morning's ceremony, we hope, captures the spirit and reverence it so richly deserves. On Anzac Day, every year, we give our respect and gratitude to the veterans for their service to our country and remember them for their sacrifice and the opportunities that we enjoy. I would also like to acknowledge those who are watching today's service from home or from work or indeed from anywhere in the world, joining us online to help recognise this occasion. I would also like to thank those who have been able to contribute to this service and the surrounding community for their support in honouring our Anzacs. Whilst we have not been able to march and host a march this year, we continue to walk shoulder to shoulder with our veterans, past and present, and encourage you to share your positive comments or experiences in the comments section below of this video and let them know of your support. Anzacs, we thank you. There is an order of service for today's event. Please check within the website for more information. On this day, above all days, we remember those Australian men and women who died and suffered in the great tragedy of war. On the morning of April 25th, 1915, Australian and New Zealand troops landed under fire at Gallipoli. And it was then and in the violent campaign which followed that the Anzac tradition was forged. The elements of that tradition have inspired and offered an enduring example to later generations of Australians. Each year we pay homage, not only to those original Anzacs, but to all who have died or were disabled in their service of this country. They enrich our nation's history. Their hope was for the freedom of mankind and we remember with privilege their courage, their compassion and their comradeship. They served on land and sea and in the air, in many places throughout the world. Not only do we honour the memory of those Australians who have fallen in battle, we share the sorrow of those who have mourned them and of all who have been victims of armed conflict. On this day, we remember with sympathy those Australians who have suffered as prisoners of war and those who, because of war, have had their lives shortened or handicapped. We recall staunch friends and allies, especially those of the first Anzac Day. May we and our successors prove worthy of their sacrifice.
thank you. I'd like to invite our next speaker to the stage. The 25th of April, Anzac Day, a national day of remembrance for past wars and conflicts and marking the anniversary of the first major military action fought by Australian and New Zealand forces. Since then, there have been many conflicts and countless casualties through the years in all branches of the Australian Defence Force. Each one gone, but not forgotten. Anzac Day is a time to reflect on the Anzac Day values of courage and mateship, but also dedicating ourselves to upholding these values, building on the successes of the Anzacs. The Anzac spirit represents a sense of purpose and direction. In today's army, we continue their spirit by living and fighting in the same manner. With our incredible determination and zest for life, displaying bravery, courage, compassion, and above all, mateship in all things we do. The mateship and bonds you make whilst in the army and on operations, is that unlike the bond you have with a sibling? Like all Australian and New Zealand soldiers, Anzac Day is very important to me. My family has a history of service to the nation with my father, two grandfathers and a great grandfather all serving uh, in the military. Growing up, I would attend the local services and as each year came by, I found an increasing desire to join the Australian Army and be a part of an organisation that has given so much. Throughout my childhood, I have attended a dawn services throughout the country and has inspired me to join and follow the Anzac legends and my family before me. I wanted to do my bit for the country like many before me and many more after me will continue to do. For myself, I remember my mate Stuart Redden on Anzac Day. Uh, he passed away during a training exercise in 2017 with B Squadron 214. The Anzac spirit has been passed on to me and it's my time to continue this legend. Anzac Day means honouring those who have come before us and continuing to represent them and the Anzac spirit in our lives. I serve with great honour and respect and there is a great deal of mateship within the service. Thank you for sharing your thoughts and experiences with us. Please welcome our next group. Australia. Yeah.
At the Ravenna Anzac service each year, Ravenna Lions Club hand out rosemary to everyone. Rosemary has long featured in Anzac Day ceremonies, pinned to the lapels and collars of servicemen and women. While it's unclear when rosemary was first worn, Anzac Day was first observed on 25th of April 1916. Rosemary is a scented herb, believed to strengthen the memory and grows wild on the Gallipoli Peninsula. It has become a symbol of remembrance and is associated with the Anzac tradition of being loyal to one's mates and active in honouring the memory of fallen and departed comrades, lest we forget. Anzac Day is such a significant day for our nation and as the Executive Principal of Varsity College, we really like to make sure that our students understand how significant this day is for us now because of the historical impact of the Anzacs. It's a day that we remember the sacrifice of those service men and women who gave their lives so that we now today can enjoy the lives we have. Even this year, with those lives changing somewhat, it is still so important for us to remember that we are now in the most amazingly beautiful country because those men and women and the men and women who continue to serve are doing such an amazing job. We thank you all for your dedication and commitment to us and our country and we remember your sacrifice. We value you. We value everything you have done for us. Let's be forget. Thank you. I'd like to introduce a school leader from Rabina State High School to read the next poem. The Australian by W.H. Ogilvy. The bravest thing God ever made. The skies that arched his land were blue. His bush-born winds were warm and sweet. And yet from earliest hours he knew the tides of victory and defeat. From fierce floods thundering at his birth, from red droughts ravening while he played. He learned no fear, no foes on earth, the bravest thing God ever made. The bugles of the motherland rang ceaselessly across the sea to call him and lead his lean brown band to shape imperial destiny. He went by youth's grave purpose willed, the goal unknown, the cost unweighed, the promise of his blood fulfilled, the bravest thing God ever made. We know it is our deathless pride, the splendor of his first fierce blow. How reckless, glorious, undenied, he stormed those steel-lined cliffs we know. And none who saw him scale the height behind his reeking bayonet blade would rob him of little, of title right, the bravest thing God ever made. Bravest, where half a world of men are brave beyond all Earth's rewards, so stoutly none shall charge again till the last breaking of the swords. Wounded or hail, one home from war, or yonder by the lone pine laid, Give him his due forevermore, the bravest thing God ever made. I'd like to invite our next reader to the stage. A Brown Slouch Hat by J. Albert and Son. There is a symbol we love and adore it. You see it daily, wherever you go. Long years have passed since our fathers once wore it. What is the symbol that we should all know? It's a brown slouched hat with a side turned up, and it means the world to me. It's the symbol of our nation, the land of liberty. And as soldiers, they wear it, how proudly they bear it for all the world to see. Just a brown slouch hat with the side turned up, heading straight for victory. Don't you thrill as young Bill passes by? Don't you beam at the gleam in his eye? Head erect, shoulders square, tunics spick and span. Every inch a soldier and every inch a man. As they swing down the street, aren't they grand? Three abreast to the beat of the band. But what do we remember when the boys have passed along? Marching by, so brave and strong. Just the brown. Please welcome our next speaker. Anzac Day is a very significant day. 
On behalf of Rabina State School, we are grateful in joining our community to remember our Anzacs. We will now welcome Fraser, one of our Year 4 students, to read the poem that he wrote for the Anzacs. A war is raging in our backyard. To stop it, we will have to work ourselves hard. When I go to the battle, I expect glory, but when I get there, it's just pointless and gory. I wonder to this day, what was the point of the war? It caused horrible suffering, but then that opened a door. They still brought out the best in people, being true and mighty brave, and that had an effect like a ripple, like a wave. People felt united, especially when you walked up to their graves and said, never again. Everyone in the war deserves a reward so we can give them our love and let us move forward. War is something we will always regret. The least we can do is say less we forget. The significance of the Lone Pine is the remembrance of the Anzacs. We aren't able to be here on this day of remembrance this year, but we will be here and always will be here with the significance of the Lone Pine of our fallen comrades. Thank you. O oh Lord, lover of souls, who through the mouth of your prophet of old declared that all souls are yours, we thank you for the brave and faithful dead who willingly laid down their lives on the battlefields of war or succumbed to the perils of the deep or of the air. We bless you for the daunted courage of those defenders of this country who have fallen in the cause of truth and righteousness. In your hand, O oh Father, we leave their departed spirits. Grant us to follow their good examples in faithfulness and endurance, even until death, that we may with them be found worthy of the crown of everlasting peace. Amen. Normally we'd now invite members of the community to lay wreaths at the Rabino Senator, to remember those who have served and made the greatest sacrifice of all. Instead this year, we encourage you and your family to make a wreath at home today and to put it on display Show your support for our service people and post an image of your creation below so that they can see or tag it hashtag Rabina Anzac Day. We have more information on the Facebook page on how you can create your own wreath if required. Thank you. Would you kindly be upstanding for the ode, followed by the playing of the last post by Daniel McLaren Kennedy from All Saints Anglican School. Following the last post, I ask all to remain standing and observe one minute of silence. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down in the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Lest we forget. Lest we forget.
May God, the source of all being, be your strength. May the eternal word lead you along the path of service. And may the presence of the Spirit enrich your life. And the blessing of God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you on this day and always. Amen. Please remain standing for the playing of the national anthems of New Zealand and Australia. That now concludes our 2020 Rabina Anzac Day commemoration service. Thank you to all of you who have been able to watch or participate in today's service and the volunteers, groups and schools who have assisted, the veterans past, present and future, as well as their families for the selfless sacrifice they make to our country and freedom. Thank you.